63-year-old James Schoenfeld pled guilty to kidnapping charges for holding a group of children and their bus driver in a buried ventilated trailer. He spent 39 years behind bars for kidnapping, but according to one of the victims, that's not long enough. I feel like this is a definite slap in the face. And, and because now they just say, well, you, you're, you're, you're fine now and you're, you're doing this now, well, well, maybe I'm not. Jody Heffington was 10 years old when it happened and has a clear memory of what happened to her in July 1976. They used guns, sawed off shotguns on us. Um, they actually used the gun on me. Schoenfeld and his brother Richard and a friend took the students from Chowchilla on a chilling ride to a quarry in Livermore where they held them captive underground. The kidnappers were seeking $5 million in ransom. Their plan ended when the hostages were able to escape when the kidnappers took a nap. Linda Carrero, Labandera, and three of her sisters were among the hostages. She can't believe James Schoenfeld is now free. My first reactions, of course, I'm nauseous and tearful and sad, upsetting. It feels like the system is unjust somehow. James's brother, Richard, who was released after serving time, now cares for his elderly mother in this complex in Mountain View. Richard told NBC Bay Area that the family would like James to move in soon. Linda Jekyll is familiar with the kidnapping case and has no problem with him moving into the neighborhood. I don't know. I don't have any strong feelings about them getting out. There are far worse criminals walking around now than, than those people.